This is Aaron Short Music at NAM 2024. I'm here with Cole Clark. Miles, how you doing? Having a great time. Great to see you. And I haven't seen this many Cole Clarks in one place in a long time. And can you tell us about the lineup and especially what's new for 2024? Okay. Just starting in at this end and moving forward, um, some things that may not be new, but they're, they're things that you may not have seen. So we always talk about Blackwood being one genetic sequence different to Koa. This is a master grade Blackwood. As you can see, it looks very like Koa. So yeah, in, incredible figure, really expensive timber, um, very hard to get. So we call that the master part of the master grade series. And that's less abalone and that. So it's more about the timbers. So it's, it's uh, bound fretboard, um, unbelievable timbers and all of that. A three series, this is something that people may not have seen. This is camphor laurel from Australia, but it's, it's not an indigenous wood of Australia. Uh, so it's just beautiful. Um, it sounds great. Uh, it's fully sustainable. This is um, a problem. This, this is a, a timber that's an ecological problem in Australia so that it's, it's pulled out. Uh, but it's actually hard to get the, the timber that looks like this. Most of it actually just looks quite white. This is a particularly good one. This is our River She Oak fring, fingerboard. So indigenous uh, timber to Australia. So yeah, all sustainable timbers. And um, so this is three series. It's got abalone wings, um, abalone shield inlays on the fretboard. And uh, yeah, so in three series, there's a lot of timbers that are not available in two series. They're shorter run timbers. So just to clarify, because I spoke about this on the channel sometimes, I always assumed that the three series had the ebony boards, but they can also have the she oak and there's different grades of she oak as well, right? That's right. So yeah, it's three series comes standard with ebony boards. If it says AE after it, that stands for Australian Eco, and that's got a a river she oak fingerboard so they're both you know top grade river she oak fingerboards then river she oak can look like like that or like that and they're still really nice but they're all different as we like to say in australia those damn trees just won't grow the same <laughs> so uh yeah so that's that's what that is um uh, there's there's uh, this is a uh, European maple guitar. So European maple is different species to US maple. US rock maple seem, tends to be very dense in, uh, is, is very a dense wood. So it's got a lot of top end to it. It doesn't, it's quite brittle sounding. Uh, it's not a great sounding acoustic, depending on how you're using it. The big J200 is good because it's got a lot of bottom end and that um, US rock maple works really well for that. But in a normal guitar, it's, they're quite brittle. This is, this is European uh, maple, which is the maple that, you know, the 18th century violin makers. That's amazing. Yeah. So the 18th century violin makers used in their violins. So very famous tone wood. It's less dense than the US timber. We like to use it on the top, back and sides. Um, or just back and sides with a different top, um, but it's, it, it looks great, sounds awesome. We like it with this spalting in it. I remember speaking to a, an old German luthier who said it's got a real problem, this timber. It gets this dark stuff in it. I'm like, that, looks, that looks fantastic. I love that. That's it. This, this, this and some of the other ones with that have been some of my favorite guitars of the, of the booth for sure. Yeah. It looks look, great. It's great tone wood. looks great. Well, this is... This is a, is a new product for this NAM. So this is a three series true hybrid. Being a standard a three series, it's got the ebony board and bridge. It's got, this is in uh, European maple. So European maple's the, the standard timber for, for the three series. So yeah, once again, uh, they all look different. This has <laughs> kind of a bear claw to it as well as the yeah, it's yeah. Really, it's, really looks great in person. Yeah. Once again, you know, in, in Australia, there's lots of introduced species which have sort of kind of tried to take over the bushland. They get taken out by the government 
So this is one of those species. In Australia, it's a real problem. So in the hills near Col Clark, it's, a, um, it's an invasive weed species. They take it out, we turn it into guitars, everyone's a winner. So it's, it's great. When we do this, we've got our own Lucas mill, so we're able to mill our own timber uh, to a degree. About 30% of our timber is milled ourselves. It's actually more expensive to, even if the tree costs nothing for an arborist, it's more expensive to uh, do that than actually buy the timber from a supplier. But it gets us into certain timbers which you cannot buy. I can't go and buy this from a lumber yard. I can't go and buy this from a lumber yard. I, you know, you can't certainly can't buy that. There's lots of stuff that that you know redwood tops is all big tree redwood. It's it's um, you know you can't buy that. It's not a commercial tree. So all these things give us an opportunity to to get into new species and different species that are sustainable. So, by the way, this is our base. We've just done another base run. These haven't seen are... the base before. Haven't seen the 12 string before either. So that's okay. awesome, yeah. Well, it's, it's, we did this with Neil Kennedy, who's a base maker in Melbourne, who's uh, sort of made, you know, he's a base teacher, base maker. So it's, it's a great design base. It's very light for what it is. It's got a uh, three-piece maple neck, through neck. It's got two graphite rods um, for reinforcing the neck. It's got a two-way truss rod. It's got either rear string through or top load. It's got a complete Aguila OPB3 system. Uh, it's got a little quirky headstock design with the, the loot there. It, it works great. It's an 18 volt system. Uh, so it's got, uh, yeah, it, it's a fantastic base and it's got a real underground following of just so many people uh, uh, who, who own these are just, uh, are just so happy with them and they own multiples and all of that. Can you show us the 12 strings? I'd never seen the Toll Clark 12 string before. So we've made this from back in the, in the early, um, early 2000s and uh, it's a beast. It's, um, it's not a dainty little 12 string. It's, um, it's got a, a 50 mil nut. Um, it's got our, our pickup system in it. The black wood we find works just great because it, you, know, you really get that moving with the 12 strings and the extra tension. It's just a, an enormous sound. And you can actually get this with the humbucker as well. We put the... Um, really? Yeah. And the 12 string? Yeah. So what we do in, wow. in, the, in the 12 string, because it's wider, we put this pickup in, which is a, it looks like a, an old single coil Rickenbacker pickup. It's actually a stacked humbucker which we make as part of our pickup manufacturing. We'll make about 2,000 pickups this year at Cole Clark in Bayswater. And um, so this is a stacked humbucker, actually made at the moment in Bakelite. So real old school. And that's the same spacing as for a 12 string. This is a Violap. So this gives you the acoustic pickup, the magnetic pickup, and two outs, awesome instrument. Some really great slide players play these. Yeah, so that's I love the old school logo on this. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. No, we, we, it's a, it's a cool instrument. You've got a more affordable line we should talk about. Yes, controversy. So we have moved offshore to a dual national guitar. But be clear, only for this. Not for all the guitars, no. just for this series, no. right? Three models, Redwood, Queensland, Maple, Blackwood, top, Blackwood, back and sides, and Bunya, European Maple. So these guitars uh, in the States have maps of 1399, 1499, 1599. These are solid top, solid back, solid sides. They are um, half, or well, actually about 60% of, of man hours in Australia and about 40% in China. We cut the timber, so from tree coming down to uh, the lumber yard to cutting it now, quarter sawn pieces to us cutting it, the billets down into the individual pieces, sanding them down to the, the thicknesses that we need it. It's a huge part of it, of any guitar work. Um, we don't 
many companies get a a finished face set or back set or side set delivered we have billets that we cut down so we send that across to china most of the woods we send across to china and then they assemble it and then we get it back we do a plec on the uh, fret dress and then we do a plec uh, nut cut it's got grover machine heads that we love it's got the same preamp, the same face sensor, the same microphone, but it's got a strip piezo instead of the suspended piezo. So the suspended piezo of our Australian-made guitars is a stronger output so that the amplified sound is better, but this is engineered to sound better you know, acoustically, sort of. So people. People often say, can't you have the best acoustic guitar in the world, which is the best plugged in guitar in the world? And my answer is, well, I've actually got this car and I want to put a 20 foot container on the back and it just won't work for some reason. You know, in the end, there's cars and there's trucks because there's two different things. And, and you engineer a guitar to sound good acoustically, but great plugged in, or you engineer a guitar to sound great acoustically, and good plugged in. So that's where these come from. Uh, so they're affordable. Are we saying that everyone should buy these? It's up to the people. You know, I can buy a pair of jeans from R and Williams, which is a, a, a great Australian maker of jeans, and I can buy them for one hundred and twenty dollars made in Bangladesh, and I can make buy them for two hundred dollars made in in Australia. That's my choice. Let's just go a little bit deep here. Wait, as, as you're here in person, let's just go over everything that's different here. There's a lot. There's a lot of similarities. Yes. And then there's some differences. Yes. So you know, same tuners, so, all solid woods here. Just to be clear, same preamp, like you said, but not the uh, not the palatalic style um, pickup. The strip piezo. Yep. There is a different cutaway. Just to be clear. Yes. That's how you can tell that's a one series. Yeah. So that that's a, a softer cutaway. We wanted that so that it's easier to bend some of these timbers. So in our original, original Angel, we can't use Queensland Maple because it just won't bend that, that, that really tight cur curve. So we can on this, so it's great. It's actually slightly wider across the rear bout from the Angel. The neck timber is actually African mahogany. The bridge and the fretboard is actually blue gum, um, Australian blue gum, which is which is torrified. So it's a it's a fantastic ecological thing, uh, and it's a great timber, a great looking timber, a great sounding timber. I think people need to play them because there are differences and similarities. I did cover on the channel the system in a Baton Rouge guitar and made a comparison demo to that. Now that's going to be different because the Baton Rouge doesn't have the Spanish heel that still has a Spanish heel, right? Correct. Yes. That does have different bracing as well to the yes. two, for example. And the Baton Rouge is a laminated back and side. Yeah. So don't take that as a comparison, but I did feel that the Angel 2 style system is a harder output, is a bigger sound, but everyone agreed that the system still sounded good. And so okay. I, my point really is they are dis they're different Yes. and you have to weigh up the differences and also the price differences to see what works for you. But I, I think it's, I think it's a good move. I, I just want to see more guitars around. So yeah, look, we, we have lots of people who, who sort of say, well, you know, in US terms, two and a half thousand dollars map is where an Australian guitar starts, uh, and it, it's a lot of people just don't have that sort of money, so they buy something from Mexico by one of the other brands or something from China from one of the other brands. Well, so we we wanted to be in that market. We we need that that part of the business so but we wanted to do a Cole Clark we didn't want to just do a guitar that's a, a generic guitar by one of the Chinese manufacturers with our name stuck on the end and you look at that and that is that is clearly a Cole Clark yeah you know it, it you know you hand that to somebody it looks great yeah and again the solid woods personally I think that may be a gateway for people some people into the other guitars as well.
though. Yes. But certainly when I got my first one, I then wanted to explore the others and they're all so different. You've got the ones with the humbuckers and different configurations and but we'll see. We'll see what people yeah. say when they've played them, right? Yep. The market Proof is in decide. the pudding, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's awesome. So great lineup. Great to see all these guitars here. And we're going to finish the video with some demos of some of the different models. Okay, so this is our number one seller, true hybrid and natural in humbucker single single. Uh, this is the all Blackwood guitar, thin line, more access up the neck, as they all are. So um, this is uh, the humbucker single single. Go to the acoustic sound first. So it's our normal acoustic pickup with the suspended piezo under the bridge saddle, the face sensor, the microphone, uh, same preamp. So then we flick to electric. Out of phase. Go straight to humbucker. Straight to humbucker? Yeah. The front out of phase turns that into a single. So you got single, single, distortion, drive, so great guitar, super versatile, both together, both say clean and dirty together, a clean, so acoustic, electric, dirt, and then both clean. So, same guitar. There's so many combinations, and then you've got other pickup configurations on other models too. So, this one's humbucker, humbucker, right? That's correct. So, humbucker, humbucker, all the other stuff's the same, except it's got the two different pickup configurations. By the way, you can buy just the, the drop in different configurations. If you have an HSS and you want to get three single coils, you can then just take the other one off and drop it in. Uh, you have to get a soldering iron out, and get someone to do it probably, but up to you. Okay, so two humbuckers, you've got one humbucker, both humbuckers, but this has got that five-way switch, so that gives you the outer two single coils, and the inner two single coils. So really versatile guitar, a lot of players who who like to dig in with their acoustic playing, don't like a metal pickup so that you can get in here. So it's a, it's got a thing about it, that's for sure. Um, and I think when you've been here playing, you've thought, oh, this is actually really cool. Um, yeah, right. And then that middle pickup can get in the way of strumming. Yeah. And that's got still got the other sounds as well with the five way switch. Yeah. That's and with the, being able to get those single coil sounds to me is just great because it's, yeah, that's a really important part, right. I think. Then you also have SSS as well, if you want the yes. single color thing. And this has got some things in it too, which make it just beautiful. So. Electric, yep. The, the three normal pickups we know about. Of course, all completely even because they're balanced pickups by Cole Clark. We will make 2000 odd pickups this year um, at the factory in Bayswater. And the fa my favourite personal is well, you had it on. So that that is that switched in all the time, and what is happening here? So those two in this case. All right, yeah. So that's the that telly sort of sound. Uh, and if, if, of course, one of your favourites is that, which is all three. And in case we didn't mention it in the video, these are balanced. There's acoustic strings, but balanced pole pieces that you do at the factory. Yep. So everything is like a regular electric guitar. Yes. So we've, we've got a patent applied for, about to go to full patent. Um, so we control the level of magnetism on each Alnico 5 magnet. So that one, for example, is 80 milliteslas, that's, that's 185 milliteslas. So that gives you a complete playable um, instrument. Whereas other instruments that are doing this, including our older ones, you, you know, they were quiet on the first four 
with loud on the last two. We, we sell those, those replacement pickups, so if someone wants to move to balance from unbalanced, they can do that. This is the plugged in sound of the All Blackwood. One series, so it's got a map in the States of 1599. Still pretty good, still pretty good acoustic sound. I think it, it, it's, uh, I'd be rather playing that than anything else in its price point, that is for sure. In fact, yeah, more than many guitars of any price point. And you're not biased either. No, that's right. <laughs> and quite humble as well. <laughs> So if we compare that to a, this happens to be a 3 Series, but if we compare that to a normal Cole Clark. So this is our um, Touring Series, a standard Touring Series from Australia. Uh, and this has got the same pickup um, system as the Chinese, half Chinese model, which we like to call the Dual National. Um, and it's got, a, it's got the suspended piezo though with individual piezos under each string, so it gives you a little bit more punch, a bit more push, it's um, and a bit more bottom end, a bit more dynamic range. So that's that's a, a big thing for us. So if you hear the difference now, now that we've just played the other one. So for people watching at home that are curious, what do you feel as the player? Is it, do you feel a difference in the two uh, systems? In the two systems, you can feel a little difference. This is a little more defined, especially in the low end. I think if you're playing five nights a week or wanting in the future at some point to do that, to play seriously professionally with it, you'd be using this. Um, but if you're, if you're just playing every now and then, you might be playing in church, you might be playing in school, you might be playing you know, getting together with some mates every few months or so, you know, that, that's a, a great option, you know, and, and you don't have the money for that, and, and that sits where you want it, it's a great option. And just to clarify, you're still making all the models so people can choose whatever they want. Yeah, the only thing we've stopped is the old one series from Australia. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. It's great to see you. I don't get to see you enough. Thanks, Aaron. It's and been fantastic. Great lineup for this band. year. Hope we see lots of guitars in, the, in, in America. And um, I hope people enjoy the video. If you've got comments, put them below in the video. Check out Cole Clark's website, and I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching. Thanks, bye bye. Aaron. You're a legend. Awesome.